What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the war recap that we had over the weekend in week 4 in CWO Premier Forge from Steel taking the loss against FYSB and I'll tell you right now they really brought it this war as you can see they beat us by a 6 star differential also winning on total destruction uh, we had 87.7 total destruction versus their 91.9 percent total destruction and it really was a bloodbath and i will tell you i will promise you guys this we did not underestimate them i mean we we, we were still getting our plans in and we knew it was going to be a very very tough war we did not take anything for granted but they just brought it and we had struggles pretty much early on and just were not able to keep up and get these stars but we will go ahead and look at uh what they did to our side of the map they were able to clear all of our town hall 11s with their town hall 10s they did go four for six so their their 10 v 11 game was very impressive and they were actually able to get two 10 v 10s this war as well uh they were able to uh triple oki and hulk which is our our lowest town hall 10 but regardless they did something that we were not able to do this war, which was get a 10v10. And as far as the Town Hall 9s went, uh, I think they had to dip maybe one base, but they still had plenty of scouts, so it wasn't like, you know, they were struggling Town Hall 9. I believe they even started off, I think they were 9 for 10 uh, on when the 9s first came out, only had one fail out of 10 attacks, so it did very well. If you look at their side of the map, we did not clear all their 11s. Um, number one, we even tried to do, uh, basically an 11 v 11 triple attempt, but only were able to get the one star, but we did get the other three 11s to start with our town hall tens. And like I just said, we did not have any 10 v tens this war and our nines were decent. We had to dip a couple bases, but we did have a few scouts. So the nines, the nines did show up. The nines, the nines did fairly well. But, I mean, that's just kind of how it went down. But, I will say this. With this war, even though we got our asses kicked, good job to FYSB. We did have some pretty cool attacks uh, that I was able to record. And we're going to start here. Uh, we have Richie. Uh, he's going to be coming in here. doing. He just really dissected this base so well. I really, really enjoyed uh, this attack that he does right here. So, he's going to be doing... Uh, queen basically a queen walk over here at nine o'clock he does have the baby drag helping out with the funnel uh, just trying to take down that elixir storage and he's gonna be having his queen walk down uh, to about six o'clock here she's gonna be heading south uh, just gonna be taking out these uh, this tr these trash buildings gonna go ahead and grab this air defense as well and he wanted to make sure he does drop another wizard just to help clear out that elixir pump he wanted to be certain that that queen was going to be heading the right way and notice over at uh three o'clock he does have uh king bowler kill squad just going to get really good value uh from this kill squad right here and it goes ahead and pops the king ability so these bowlers are not are going to be taking out these cannons just setting up a nice defense path for the loons once he brings those in so they take out the second cannon and they're also going to get this air defense so he's basically trimmed each side of this base one with the queen walk, the other side with the king bowler kill squad. So he's going to be able to come down and just have a nice pathing for his loons just to move right through the center of the base. Going to go ahead and pop an early ability to make sure he takes out this enemy queen. The enemy CC has already been taken care of. And here comes the hound loon portion. And he just has all kinds of spells uh, for his loons. Has a couple haste just to rush everything in, making sure that the loons you know, don't get too far away from the hounds. So the fourth air defense is about to go down. They're going to double back, take out that AD. And notice that the, the sweepers are facing the wrong direction. So he doesn't even have to worry about the loons getting pushed back whatsoever. Does have a troll Tesla over at nine o'clock, but still has a couple loons that he's going to be able to use to take that out. And this was a fresh hit. Basically, he swagged that heal spell as that red bomb pop. I just wanted to make sure uh, that he wasn't going to lose all of his loons there. So more or less swagged a heal on that one. And just really enjoyed this attack. Really dissected. Had a really awesome plan. So good job to Richie getting the 3-star on that 9v9. 
And next, we're going to check out Slob on my gob. This was another really good, he gets really good value on this queen charge. Uh, I'm going to be doing a queen charge Lalo on this one. Um, and he's just going to be, he has, he's kind of peppering minions all throughout the base, but all of them basically are, get, are taking out these trash buildings to ensure that he's going to get really good value from all his heroes right here. So he does have a baby drag down at six o'clock and here comes his uh, queen right here. And if you look at that, that little L shaped compartment is going to lead basically right into the core of this base where he is just going to pick up all kinds of value. So it has a nice wall break right there. And does have a, a minion also helping with the funnel over here on the bottom left-hand side on that elixir storage. Wants to make sure that, that queen does head into the base. Enemy CC has been taken care of. Did have a poison waiting for it. And she's going to charge in this base. So the enemy CC has been taken out. He already got the enemy queen taken out. And you'll see all the other four air defenses are basically on the other side of the map. But in that L-shaped compartment, he is going to be able to take out one of those 80s with his queen and so she's just slowly working her way up uh, in, right there and he is about to be dropping his king right here he does have a really nice really small kills I, I mean i guess you can call it a kill squad it's just, just gonna have a king with a pair of wizards that he's gonna be bringing in here does get the wall broke here goes his king as those minions did set up the funnel over there on the upper left hand side and just drops down a pair of wizards just to kind of help out with the king as the only real point defense in that compartment was the cannon was a cannon and under ability there is no doubt that king with a pair with that pair of wizards uh, behind him, he's gonna be able to get both of those ads. Is sending a hound basically across this base from one side to the other. Does have a hound in the CC, and he's just targeting these defenses with a few loons, uh, targeting each one, hasting everything in. And this base is basically gonna be gone before you know it. it. Has a really good heal right there with that splash damages from those wizard towers along with that expo. They're gonna collapse on it, take it out, no problem. Uh, Queen is just beating on the wall, but she is going to survive this whole raid as it's pretty much just going to be trash uh, left to clean up after that compartment right there. Teslas go down, and the Archer Tower is the last defense to go down. And that was pretty much it. So it just had a really nice Queen Charge. I haven't uh, seen a nice Queen Charge Lalo, especially picking up that value with that King Kills, uh, with that little mini King Kill Squad. I really enjoyed that. So awesome job to Slava My Gob getting the triple on that one. All right, next up, we have Paul. Not Paulie. We got Paul coming in here. And he's going to be doing it. I mean, you got to stick with what works. I mean, just basically, um, just going to be doing the Witch Slap, Mass Witches, uh, Bitch, Town Hall 9, Bitch, whatever you guys want to call it. And I'm telling you guys, you know, he's, he's obviously made a few of these recaps. And he's just sticking with the attacks that work. And, you know, you can't do it on every single base layout. But the bases that he is doing it on, definitely the strategy overpowers these bases. So, again, give it a try. You know, just starting off, um, he, he does have the healers in this comp. So, just starting off with a few witches on each flank with the healers behind him. Uh, you know, just making sure that those witches stay up and that the healers aren't getting targeted by those air defenses. And on a base layout like this... They are, those healers are safe and sound. And you're just tearing through this core. Does have, obviously does have the bowlers in the clan castle. And just getting a really nice push through the core of this base. Just completely, I mean, just completely wrecks it. And he's just been six-packing for us using this strategy. So big shout out to Paul. One guy we can always count on to come through in these wars. And you'll see right here, he also ha brings in a couple wizards on each flank. Just to kind of help the witches out as those wizards do, can target all kinds of buildings from over the wall and does still have his queen ability. So as you can see, this base is already going to be completely wrecked. There's just way too much to handle with the witches generating those skellies, plus with the healers. Uh, there's, a, there's just no way uh, that this base is going to have a chance. So really good job to Polly. And again, still has the archer queen ability, all kinds of skellies up, all kinds of witches up, and just completely wrecks it. So grabbing the three-star, good job to Paul on that triple.
All right, and for our fourth and final replay, we got Stauncey going to be coming in, smashing this base with a stoned hobo. And this is a cleanup, as he is going to be starting off this raid with just a couple looms to take care of that pesky troll Tesla down there at 6 o'clock. And he's going to be creating a really nice, tight funnel, as he does have quite a few wizards and a pair of baby drags, just to set a really nice funnel for his heroes and his bowlers. So he's very, very patient as each flank is just slowly getting trimmed down, making sure that, that those bowlers do not walk. He does have a jump spell uh, down in his spell comp. And you'll see, if he gets a spell, or if he gets a jump spell down where that island expo is, kind of right in the core of this base, it is just going to open up the entire base for his kill squad so his heroes and bowlers can do some work. So here comes the bowlers. As you see, the Argumy taking that jump does drop a really nice rage. Here comes the enemy CC, but he does have a, a poison that's going to be waiting for it. Even has a max, or even has a, a one of his own skellies he's bringing along in this raid. And you'll see he's already starting off his hogs nice and early as the defenses are all still targeting his kill squad. So he's just going to get really good value from these hogs as he did start them off at the upper left hand side of the space just taking care of all these defenses and most of the point defenses as you'll notice were at where his entry was so really i mean besides a couple cannons in that archer tower there's really no other point defenses left in this base and you'll see he does drop a that skeleton spell that he brought along he did drop it on the enemy king so he was tied up so skellies were able to finish him off and he did drop that last and final heal just to make sure and now the enemy king is dead hog's got a couple shots off on him and it's nothing left but clean up at this point so really broke that base down very well Stanti coming in here clean cleaning it up getting that triple good job man so that is pretty much going to I mean that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this war recap. I'm telling you, FYSB really brought it to Forge from Steel and they did give us our very first loss of the season bringing FFS's record to 3 and 1. So we'll definitely be looking to get back on track. Uh all CWL clans do have a bye this upcoming weekend. So we'll be able to tune some things, get some FCs in. We have a couple of range wars scheduled so we can get back on track, get back in the winning column. But I'm telling you, do not underrate FYSB. They are a very good clan, so be on the lookout for them. And our next matchup is against One Hive Genesis, so that is an absolutely huge war for most of us over here in FFS. So stay tuned for that. That will be the following weekend, uh, the weekend, I believe, of April 20th. But that's the war recap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Good job to FYSB beating us 78 to 84. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.